Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Forward Line. I am back this week to talk dungarees. Now, I know some people love them, some people hate them, but I'm here for the dungaree lovers because I, well, I'm wearing a pair today, not one that I made, sadly, but I love them and I think they are, for me, anyone else who doesn't like wearing dresses that much, to me, this feels like the kind of trouser version of the dress, as in you put on one thing and you're sort of done. Um, I just adore them. So, I have picked 10 dungaree patterns that I wanted to share with you that I think you guys will love sewing. Um, and yes, I'm gonna get started. So, the first pattern I've got to talk to you about are the Otis overalls from Sew Liberated. This comes in sizes zero, I'm oh, sorry, six to 34. These ones I thought were really interesting. So the, from the front, they look like a fairly standard pair of dungarees. If I show you the line drawing, you'll sort of see what's going on. Um, so at the front, they have a kind of classic bib. They've got a seam down the center front. They've got a big sort of pocket um, around the sort of waist. Um, the, then at the back, the um, straps cross over. But the interesting thing about it is it's got this gathered panel from between each strap. So you can pull it as tight as you like or have it as loose as you like. I quite like the idea that you could wear these and basically have a large meal and expand them as you eat. <laughs> um, they've also got an interesting little seam around the bottom. You can see where it kind of pulls them in. They're, they're just a really lovely pattern, but they're quite, they've got quite interesting details on them. I think this one um, probably would work better for spring purely because I think they would look better in something with a bit of drape, like a linen. Um, but then saying that actually you could make them in a lightweight tailoring wool and they'd look beautiful as well, I think. So um, yeah, really lovely pattern and definitely worth having a look at if you haven't seen them before, because I adore them. So next up, we've got the Heyday Dungarees from Waves and Wild. This comes in sizes six to 32. And I'm gonna say this, this, this is the most popular dungaree pattern on our site. This is the one that everyone has gone absolutely nuts for and I can sort of, I can see why. So the thing that's really fantastic about this pattern is it's really great if you're in the sort of beginner camp. I know a few people are scared of making things like a dungaree if they're relatively new to sewing, but don't be actually, these are really simple trousers and I think they'd work perfectly. So again, they've got the classic bib at the front, centre front seam, patch pockets on the leg, patch pockets on the bib, um, there are different variations with this of the ties over the shoulders so you can kind of mix and match and decide how you like it. You can either have a proper almost like a knotted like these or you can have um, you could put proper buttons or buckles depending on what you wanted. Um, they've got yeah patch pockets sort of just around the hip area and a patch pocket on the back as well I think. No not a patch pocket on the back sorry. Um, but yeah, these have been so popular within the sewing community. I think it's because they're quite, um, they're, the leg shape on this is quite good. It's slightly tapered, it's not, it's relaxed fit, but it's not sort of wide legged. And I think that's what's appealed to a lot of people. So if you are looking for something that, you know, a lot of people have made, you're in very safe hands with this one because it's really great. Next up, we've got the Greta Dungarees from Made My Wardrobe. This comes in sizes 6 to 24. This one is really interesting. So again, this is one of those ones that looks quite classic from the front, you know, your classic dungaree pattern with the bib. Um, it's got a square top and slightly, I think this bib is slightly wider than most of them. It kind of comes almost to your armpit. Um, relaxed fit trouser. The thing that's really interesting is the back of this. So if I show you a picture, you can see it's basically got this sort of tie tie detail at the back so you can sort of cinch it in as much as you like and again a bit like the um, Otis overalls gives you a bit of um, wiggle room in terms of sizing and you know if you again if you have a big dinner you can kind of loosen them off a little bit which I always like but yeah they're really interesting in terms of the cut so definitely go and have a look at them and um, yeah it, it's an interesting that back bib with the kind of wrap style yeah, if I show you the line drawing, it'll make a lot more sense of me sort of describing it badly. <laughs> so yeah, great option and they have pockets as well. So win-win. 
The Greer jumpsuit from Hey June Handmade. This is another pattern that has been really, really popular within the sewing community. Um, this comes in sizes 8 to 26. Um, this one, again, is another one that's really good if you are in the beginner camp. This is really simple construction. So there are two variations with this. Variation A has a, um, it's more like a jumpsuit. So it's got a little V-neck, it's got darts at the bust, um, and then it's cut completely straight. So there's no waist seam, which will make for this sort of look, I think will be, if you're really curvy, you're gonna have more issues with this, I think in terms of the fitting. So if you're really curvy, I would say this might, this shape might not be perfect for you. If you're more athletic style, this is, fantastic but the dungarees are would work well to put, like regardless of whether you're curvy or not so it's quite a narrow little bib you can see from the front um, it's got ties it ties right at the top here um, it's got two patch pockets on the front which you can have or you can leave off um, it's a really simple pattern I think you could make this in a few hours um, and be out wearing it sort of by the end of the day so it's a nice really good simple one if you're looking for a nice simple one. Um, next up we've got the Jenny Charleston overall from Closet Core Patterns. This has to be I think one of my favourites of the um, dungaree patterns. There's lots of good stuff going on with this and I think if you're going to invest some time in getting fit right and you know if, you, if you're a dungaree hardcore wearer I feel like this is a pattern to give a go and kind of get the fit right because there's lots of things in it which I think would make the fit really good on it. So I think probably if I show you the line drawing you can see there's also a trouser variant of this but let's just we're talking dungarees. So it's got this really lovely bib with this interesting kind of slanted pocket on on the bib. It's got an, a sewn in waistband which I think is the thing that's going to add the most amount of definition this is the this is where you can kind of I think in terms of fitting it, it it'll take a bit longer but it's definitely worth it. Then it's got pockets and it's wide leg in terms of the cut. Um, you can either make it into shorts if you wanted to, or she's got it where it's sort of midi kind of mid calf length. You could make them long as well if you wanted to. I just think they're gorgeous, and you can make them in loads of different fabrics. So I think you could make this in a denim and it would look really structured and be perfect for winter or you could make this in a linen and it'd be really good for summer. Loads of people have made it and loads of people love this. So if you haven't seen it or thought about it, I would, I'm gonna pump this one because I really, really think it's fantastic. So definitely, definitely check it out if you haven't already. Next up, we've got the Patsy overalls from Ready to Sew. This comes in sizes, um, so it's, it's in two size banding, six to 14 with a B cup and 18 to 30 with a D cup, which is really nice. This is the only um, dunkery pattern that's actually got cup sizes built in, which is really great. Um, I included this one because it's got some interesting features that a lot of the other ones don't have. So the across the top of the bib, you'll see it's actually, it's a kind of, rather than it, it's a sewn channel, which means that you thread the ties through, which tie at the top, and then they sort of ruche at the front, and it's the same on the back. And it's really interesting, I hadn't seen anything like that. The other interesting feature of this, this pattern is that it's got these really nice slanted pockets, which means there's a center front seam, well like, there's a center front seam, but there's also a seam that runs right the way down the bib, down the front of your legs which is really interesting and you don't see that often. Um, it also means you can get alter the fit really nicely around your tummy and around your hips if you need to. Um, it's a, such a fab pattern. I also like that there are little darts at the back as well, so it means it kind of brings everything in. Um, if you haven't made ready to sew patterns, I really rate them, I really love, I've made a couple of theirs and the, the fit on them is really nice. So that is, um, that one I'm yeah I actually really want to make those now so next up I've got the Yanter overalls from Helen's closet I've included these because they are a sewing community firm favorite everyone loves them um, and I think that's because they've really got the fit right on them so these come in sizes 6 to 30 um let me show you the line drawing and then you can see so 
cool stuff about them again in terms of getting fit right it's quite a narrow bib at the front it's got a dart just kind of kind of going in towards the waist it's also got that dart at the back this I think is really important because you don't want kind of big gaping bits at the back and I think this again in terms of making your fitting correct I would if you were to obviously one should always make a twirl but you know quite a lot of us don't I would pin the darts and put them on and test to see how they look because you could always bring it in a bit more or kind of move them a little bit um, so definitely try if you're if you're not, if you're being naughty and not not making a twirl um, when you're doing during the make process I try them on just to make sure because you can definitely make them it might be that you need to make them a bit tighter at the front and a bit looser at the back or the other way around but yeah these are a real firm favourite loads of people have made them and loads of people really rave about them so I would highly recommend especially if you're relatively new they have really really good um, instructions so next up we've got the constant overalls from Fibre Mood this comes in sizes 6 to 24 I included these because I feel like these are um, slightly more advanced but these are your real classic dungaree pattern they've got all the features that I imagine in the classic dungaree and they are fab so if I show you the line drawing I think this will give you an idea um, three buttons each side to get in proper bib um, it, they've got um, proper, I can't, the buckles that go here, uh, they're almost like a, you know, full on pair of jeans with, with all of the dungaree details. So if you're going to make this, it's a little bit more advanced, but you're going to get really good at top stitching, you're going to learn lots of new skills. Um, I like that the trouser on this is slightly looser fit, it's not really tight. Um, they're a lovely pattern, so if you're looking for a really classic pair of dungarees, you know, the sort of ones that we wore, I was born in the 80s, so Oshkosh ones that we wore when we were kids, this this to me feels like the adult version of that. Next up, we've got the Burnside Bibs from Soho 7. This comes in sizes 0 to 20. Um, I put these in because these are a real cult classic again within the sewing community. They've been around for a while, but everyone really, really loves them. So they've got this cool detail. If I show you the back of them, um, there are two variations on this, so let me just pull up my line drawing so that I can make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Um, so version, there's, there's two versions. One version hasn't got the kind of gathering at the back of the um, dungarees and one does. So it's depending on which how you want it to look. Um, I love the gathering at the back. If you have been blessed with a larger bottom, the, this might not be the most flattering one to go for. I might go for the other one as someone who's, who has been blessed with a slightly larger bottom. Um, but they're really interesting. I just love the shape. So how seven do really good, interesting patterns. They always have good details on them that you don't see on anything else. The front looks like a classic. It, it's actually quite a low cut bib and I like the shape of it. It's almost like curved around here rather than cut straight. Um, it's got these really big statement pockets, it's got an in-sewn um, waistband, the straps cross over at the back and it's sort of wide leg. It's just, it's it's such a great pattern, I love it. And loads of you guys have made it and love it as well, so definitely worth having a look at. Last, but definitely not least, we have got the McCall's 8008. And I know I don't really often talk about the big four but these were so interesting I thought they were worth including. Anyone who's looking for a sort of 70s feel pair of dungarees then this is, these are perfect for you. So I'm going to talk through the pattern. So it's got this zip down, It's I will say also it's slightly, it's in the more advanced camp um, this one because there's quite a lot of detail going on. Um, size wise as I haven't said it goes up to six Okay, UK 4 to 20. So it's got a zip down the centre front that goes all the way down to where a natural, your natural fly would end. Um, it's got an inbuilt waistband. It's got tabs on the waistband. The thing that makes it really interesting are these two pockets on the breast, on the breast area, bust area. 
um, and quite square neckline and the pocket and the straps kind of mimic the line, the end edge of the bib and kind of carry on up over. They're really interesting. I like also the fact that the trouser um, shape is quite, it's almost got some very slight flair to it. This pattern actually comes with a blouse as well, which is really beautiful. So you get quite a lot of bang for your buck and you can also make this into a short as well. The back on this is quite interesting. If I show you the line drawing, it's got a nice V shape on the back and it's got almost, um, it's got fisheye darts as well. So actually they're not fisheye because of the um, waistband. So it's got quite big darts at the back as well. So there's lots of places that you can kind of get in and do some fitting. So I thought this was a nice one to finish up with because you also get a blouse as well. I hope that was useful. There is a blog post down below if you want to go and read a bit more um, with all of these mentioned in so you can have a kind of proper look at them all together. And I hope that was useful. We'll be back soon with another video. Nice to see you, bye.